You know her as a glamorous wife and mother of four on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. We're talking about Kyle Richards. She's here live with us this morning to help you start the new year with style. She has a new book. It is called Life is Not a Reality Show, in which she shares her secrets to looking great and finding love. And she found her love. First, a look at the latest in the lives of The Real Housewives. In a reality series about extravagance, style, and drama, the Beverly Hills edition of The Real Housewives does not disappoint. The show features six sexy and strong-willed socialites living in the lap of luxury. Among them, Kyle Richards, comparatively down to earth and definitely not afraid to speak her mind. We have a lot of evil people coming. The wife and mother of four has become a fan favorite. There's something about having that accent that just makes them seem more superior to the rest of us. Often the most vocal when it comes to the show's now notorious fights. You're trashy and you're classless. She is also fiercely loyal. If you attack my sister, don't expect me you not to be her a bitch. Bitch especially when it comes to family, including her sister Kim, who has battled it's drug abuse. Like <laughs> and her adoring husband of 17 years, Mauricio. She has an amazing, hot, super hot husband. Thanks for the compliment, but easy on the hot husband talk. This season has featured her more sensitive side, supporting her fellow castmate, Taylor Armstrong, whose husband, Russell, committed suicide in August. You do not need him to be okay. You need yourself to be okay. Fans say she never ceases to entertain or surprise. Still, in the end, she does not take her reality star fame all that seriously. I have three dogs. They come as a big shock, but they poop in the backyard. <laughs> Keeping it real. <laughs> Joining us now to talk more about The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and her new book, which is called Life is Not a Reality St Show, is Kyle Richards. So Good to see you, Kyle. Thank you. you. I'm so happy to be here. Uh, did you have a special New Year's? We did. My husband wanted to go to Las Vegas for New Year's, so last minute we hit Las Vegas on the way to see you here. Oh, did you have the kids with you? No. <laughs> no. Usually we do. We left I the know. kids at home and... Um, we slept two hours, and the whole time he kept saying, whose idea was this? So, <laughs> but we made it. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're, we're really happy to have you here. Thank you. I uh, took an informal poll with our staffers here. You are their favorite. You keep Aww. it so real, and I love how in the opening credits how you say you're not the richest, but you're the luckiest. You've been married for 17 years, four, four kids, three dogs. How do you stay so grounded? You know what? Actually, it's 16 years coming up this ah. month, together 17 and a half. How do we stay so grand? You know, I'm just, I, I'm just so appreciative of everything I have. And, you know, I'm very appreciative of my husband and our marriage. I know what we have. Mm -hmm. And I make sure to never forget that and make sure that he feels appreciated every day. And that he makes me feel appreciated every day. And Are you not just saying that because he's within earshot range <laughs> in, no, in the studio? Like, he, no. has been over there. <laughs> he makes it easy to look at him. Oh, 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 <laughs> no, you, said no hot, you said no husband talk. I'm just that. joking <laughs> about that. You know, I take it as a compliment. Uh, yeah, as you should, but congratulations <laughs> Thank on, you on, so on how much. you all Thank keep you. going and how, how you work together. Uh, you do not hold back in the book or in the show, and I want to play a little bit more of an upcoming episode, and it's dealing with your sister. Here it is. My sister's not here yet, in case you haven't noticed. This is just ridiculous. By the time she gets here, we'll be going home. What's the point? Kim, where is she? In fact, what planet is Kim on, let's be honest? Well, that's why I, I really said you've got to uh, detach yourself. She obviously doesn't stressing. want to be here. She could have just told me flat out from the beginning, I don't want to go. Seems like you guys will never work it out, really. It's always something, isn't it? I don't know. I just feel like she's in an aggressive mood, and I don't know what she's going to be like when she gets here. A lot of talk about your sister. She is back in rehab. How is she doing? Have you seen her? I just visited my sister, and she's doing really, really well. She's getting stronger every day, and I'm very proud of her. I'm glad she's getting the help that Thank she needs. You. I know that's very important. And you give yes. some, um, some sisterly advice in the book. You give all types of advice. You even give relationship advice. And one thing I have to say, Kyle, that you said, I was like, who? You said... Um, if you cheat on your spouse once, do not tell <laughs> that you get a free pass because you've seen, I mean, what? I knew I was going to get some heat for that. <laughs> I am, I've seen circumstances with people that I know are in love with their spouse and they made one mistake. And I said, well, this was somebody that I know, nobody that anybody knows here, um, that, you know, listen, if this really was a one-time mistake and you did not put this person in jeopardy, 
I personally think you should deal with it with yourself and with God and not go and say, honey, look what I did, because I knew that this would ruin their relationship and their life. Wow. So I said it did not happen. And I can tell you that many, many, many years later, mm -hmm. they're happy together, and she did make that mistake, and she has to carry that and live with that, and it's not me. I like my husband's over there sweating bullets. <laughs> approaching this way, not, not you, Marisa. No. I knew I would get a lot of heat for that, but I, 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 do, I do feel that, yeah. I do, and I know that they're still going strong, so. Okay, work for them. That's all that really matters. Beauty advice, too. You, I mean, you, I'm looking, you, stunning. Oh, thank really? you. I do my own hair and makeup. You know, when I do my sit downs on the show, mm -hmm. I do have a makeup artist that I've worked with for years. But the most important thing to me about beauty is it does not have to cost a lot of money. So many people think that and they sit there and they'll spend $100 on their shampoo. I really do use Pantene. A lot of people ask me about my hair and I'm not a paid spokesperson for mm -hmm. any product. So I can say that honestly. And, you know, even, you know, makeup, clothing, everything. You know, my, my shoes may be uh, Valentino, but this is actually from Zara. I think this was like $40. My skirt. So the mix. We have 15 seconds left. The one piece of advice you would give folks on beauty or relationship, whatever, whatever you think is most important. Confidence is the most important thing you can have in your relationship, beauty, anything. And if you don't really feel it, you can fake it till you make it. All right, Kyle. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. It's a delight to meet you.